We reverse for Neo before the earnings at the end of August or one month ago, almost 85%. And of course, the reason of that, one of the many reasons, first, of course, we have the good earnings back in uh, September. And of course, the good news regarding the, the Chinese economy is getting uh, or uh, st we have a stimulus for uh, the Chinese economy and focusing on the growth and of course focusing on EV stocks. But there is a catch here. Not all EV stocks or Chinese EV stocks is going up because if we go on Mullen, Mullen have reversed it 1 to 100 and still going down. Now is going near the $1. So not all the EV stocks going up. So we have to be extremely careful. Everybody talking about just buying blindly all the Chinese company. No, we have to be strategic. Yes, Neo doing all right. So we, for today, that's why we, we should discuss Neo. And of course, one of the top EV stocks in the American market, United States is Tesla. So we have to discuss those two stocks, where the price will go, because for Neo we already jumped 85% for Tesla were ready reverse as we can see here the same trend uh, kind of from the last earnings for tesla we reversed uh, almost 85 percent so we see that we have the same jump the same jump for tesla and in neo and neo is in 30 minutes we jumped 85 percent for tesla it took almost three months to jump 85 percent but both of them 85 percent right now so this is uh, let me know in the comment section below if you think this is a coincidence or the market maker or the whale loading up on those two EV stocks. In today's video, we have to discuss this and where the price will go for both of them. So hit the like button, subscribe because we always go live every day. Guys, for new jump, we already discussed this jump before around the 4th of September. If you remember, we did this short analysis update before the jump around the $4.28. For our hunter on our discord and Patreon before the jump and the early in the early september so if you want to have early access for those kind of stocks those kind of jumps drop your comment down below of course the link is down in the comment section below if you want to gen, uh, join us in our discord and Patreon, and of course have access to those chart analysis updates and live streaming that we do daily on our discord and Patreon. so let's dive deeper and of course hit the like button and subscribe because we always go live around the 9 a.m eastern time or uh, earlier on discord and Patreon, as we said around 7 a.m eastern time every day or each day uh, of course, we're going to go live on Monday. So right now, guys, what we should expect, we have uh, jumped almost 12% for NEO with 180 million. This is a humongous, uh, crazy number of volume compared to Tesla, just 70 million. For NEO, 180, double the amount of volume for Tesla. This is the first time because Tesla always, every time, will be the top volume gainer. But now we have a different story. Neo, it is double the, the amount of volume. Why? We're going to have, uh, uh, because the market maker seeing that Neo is undervalued, as you can see here. Many traders uh, and uh, like uh, Redditors asking about when the price will go to all-time high back around the 70 because a lot of people got cut here and the price continue to go down we're going to discuss this in a bit but for now we have to discuss the first resistance that we have to uh, break in the uh, current situation which is around uh, uh, give or take around the seven dollar so the seven dollar is really the psychological level for neo to break in order to confirm that we actually technically squeezing because right now we just reversing normally if um, let me just show you what's happened before we reverse here uh, 130 percent so this is not it guys don't get uh, uh, like excited for neo i'm not being pessimistic here but i'm just being the honest here because we're still inside the big bearish channel a lot of people just being hyped because the price jumped 85 percent but technically we already jumped 130 almost 30 percent back here on 2023 in june in summer if you remember guys then the price dive down some more from 15 dollar until the three dollar we have another one another jump it's not once uh, once we jumped 100 percent we jumped here 
back in uh, the 12th of May 2022. Every year we have this kind of jump. Okay, this one is still we still have room to jump more. So that's why the first level for confirmation for a reversal is breaking the seven because around the seven guys if we pull back and this time we pull back more than the four dollar eighty yes uh, sorry to tell you guys is mean we're gonna have a huge dive down so this is a turning point because once we test the seven dollar we're gonna be near this descending channel i don't know seven and eight dollar would be a technical zone uh, to have a breakout from because if we don't break this channel guys we mean we still in the bearish channel but in the current situation we're still good because we still have the five dollar and of course as we said the four dollar uh, 80 that we should hold in order to continue to go higher toward the ten dollar for tesla on the other hand oh man tesla looking pretty good because uh, we jumped from this triangle force you see here this is the triangle that we broke from from tesla and of course tesla had many news great news tesla mentioned as part of technology and consumer directory sector which among the best performing sector in the stock market during the past week uh, we have many uh news regarding tesla and the new model and of course uh like beating the record sales uh, for the new model so this is uh, really good for tesla as well and we have the earnings coming up in the early or the mid and october and this is could be the turning point for tesla to go and test the 300 mark of course this would be a turning point and uh, this time guys we need to have a green earning because this will be the turning point for tesla we're going to discuss tesla in depth uh, in earnings of course on our discourse and patreon about where the price will go and what we're going to have uh, for the price because right now around the 270 this is the first resistance before the earnings for tesla will test uh, to confirm if we're going to have another buyer or the shares might add their position here they if they add their position yeah we could or we might have a, the pullback for tesla and of course we're gonna have a bit of struggle to continue to go higher so in the time being everything looking good because tesla pulled back on the earnings we reverse market maker bought around the 190 we're holding this trend we broke from this flag around the 234 and now going toward the short seller place around the 270 so if we broke the 271 guys is mean tesla will squeeze toward the 313 so we have a target for tesla to go to let me just show you how much we can do maybe even before the earnings around the 17 percent gain for neo on the other hand we missing how much here we might do another 20 percent guys before a huge pullback because this is a turning point as we said because we're gonna have a huge test around the eight dollar which is in a big picture it is inside this humongous crazy channel where the short seller is still shorting neo so neo is still in bearish trend everybody don't be misguided about everybody saying neo is jumping jumping 85 percent already did 100 percent and we pulled back so just from the technical yeah the fundamental is good we have a really good earnings lately good news in the chinese market uh, of course however in the technical we're still in a, bur a bearish trend until we break around this channel of course around the seven and the eight dollar and this is would be another 20 percent gain this is, will give us the 100 mark that's usually new you do before another pullback as we said even if we have a pullback around this uh, crazy level we need to hold over the five dollar fifty first then the four dollar seventy to confirm that we still have the market maker or the whale still buying uh, and of course if we jumped we're gonna have at least uh, not the 70 but uh, I, I target uh, my target of course is around the 16 dollar guys so if we jumped again over the seven dollar and started to squeeze we're gonna have another 100 percent so we're going to do 100 percent if we confirm the squeeze we're going to have another 100 percent toward the 16 dollars so this is my target of course before not the 70 but the 16 this is the most realistic price target for neo at least if we have some uh, good news uh, for this year we might go there in this year uh, we have three months left so we might go there before the end of this year let me know in comment section below what's the target for neo that could hit this year before the end of this year for me i get the target or i give the target 16 dollar if only if 
we broke the seven and the eight dollar resistance around this or below this channel okay let me know in the comment section below thank you for watching guys and see you by tomorrow around our live streaming around 9 a.m eastern time hit the like subscribe thank you for watching and see you uh, on monday